Hello, hopefully you watched the intro video to this to kind of get a little bit of a backstory to the notes we're about to take. So this video is just about the guided notes. I'm going to walk you through it so that way you know how to fill it in in case you were absent or whatnot. Alrighty? Okay. So here's the note page that we did. And if you, again, I encourage you to go and take a look at the other video that was a, me explaining and introducing how to do the elimination method. All right, so basically it's, it's all about adding, adding the two equations together to try to eliminate a variable. So sometimes um, we, there's no change. If we just go ahead and add them vertically, we can see that our goal is that we want to have opposite. So our goal is to have opposite signs, same coefficient for one variable. Okay, so opposite sign, same coefficient. So that way when we add them together, they will cancel out. Okay, so in this case here, a positive y, we're going to go ahead and add everything. I like to put the plus sign just to kind of keep it fresh in what, what I'm doing. So I'm going to have 8x, that's going to cancel out because they're opposites, equals 16. So much easier than having to rearrange and substitute. So now I got x equals 2. Boom, done. All right, so now that I have my x value, I would plug it back into one of the equations, equation A or B, to find the y value. Let's just do that real quick. From here on out, though, you should be able to do that. So we got 3, uh, it was 3x plus y equals 6. So 3 times 2 plus y equals 6. 6 plus what gives you 6? And that would be 0. So the solution is 2 zero. Okay. All right. So again, um, always just plug that back in to go find your new one. Now, sometimes though, if, if you're taking a look at this, if I were to go ahead and add these as, as they are, they're not going to cancel out. This would be three X. This would be two Y. I need them to be opposite. So, uh, for example, uh, for this one, I may want to multiply the top equation by a negative one to make this a negative y. I could also multiply the bottom by a negative one and make that, um, so that's a negative y. But right now I have a positive one and a positive one. So they're the same coefficients, but they're not opposite signs. So this is where I was talking about you have to send in one of your hired goons. So I'm going to do multiply the top equation by negative one, okay? So I'm going to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. And I'm going to rewrite that just so I've got a fresh, fresh new equation or a fresh new system off to the side. So I'm going to get negative x minus y equals negative 12. You may want to put it on both sides so you don't forget to multiply this side too. Okay? You gotta, you gotta play fair. Whatever you do to one side, you gotta do the other. All right, now. I didn't do anything to the second equation or equation B there, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy it over, All right? And so now I can go ahead and add my equations together, and I get x, the y's, their opposites, and cancel out, equals negative 6, boom, got it. x equals negative 6, okay? And then I'd go back and I could then solve for my y value. So I could go back over here, x plus y equals 12, negative 6 plus y equals 12, therefore y equals 18. y equals 18. And I could check it. 2 times negative 6 plus 18 gives me 6. Yes, it does. All right. Okay, now let's take, what I want you to do is, I told you what to do for this one. Take a look, pause the video. Um, Pick a variable. Who do you want to eliminate? And how are you going to make that happen? And in this case, we're just going to choose one equation. We're going to try and see, can we just take one equation, multiply it by something to eliminate one of the variables? So pause and see if you can figure it out for yourself. And then come back when you're ready. All right. So I don't know about you, but I saw the X's here. And I'm going to eliminate the x's. So I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a negative 2. So I'm going to multiply the bottom 
equation by a negative 2. So nothing's going to happen to that top equation. 2x plus 5y equals 9. But i got to multiply by a negative 2 to everything. Negative 2x. Negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6y. And then don't forget the 10. It's going to become negative 20. That tends to be a, a common error, is forgetting to multiply the, the other side by that same number. All right, now we can go ahead and add them. And always double check to make sure you did do the opposite. Positive 2, negative 2, yes, those cancel out. Positive 5, positive 6, that is 11y. 9 minus 20, negative 11. y equals negative 1. Okay? So in... Um, in that case, I got my y value, and then I would go back, and I would find my x value that way. So really quick, I'm going to use the second equation, x minus 3 times negative 1 equals 10. x plus 3 equals 10. x equals 7. There we go. Okay. Now, as I said in the previous video, um, sometimes, okay, no goons needed. They naturally eliminated themselves. Here we needed to send in one goon to take care of one of the equations. But sometimes we need to um, send in two. One to both equations there. All right. So think about it. You need to think, who do you want to eliminate? Are you not friendly with the exes? Did they do something to you in the past? You want to eliminate them. Or maybe you're like, hmm, those whys, they're always asking why. I need to eliminate them. All right. But I want you to think who you're going to multiply the top by and what will you multiply by the, the bottom by and who will that eliminate? Because what you do might be different than what I do. So pause the video and let's see if we thought about the same thing as a mob boss here. All right. So I chose to eliminate the Y's. And I did that by I'm going to multiply negative 2 to give me a negative 6Y. I'm going to multiply the bottom by a positive 3 to get a positive 6y. That will eliminate the y's. I could have done positive 2 and negative 3. Okay. Maybe you wanted to get rid of the x's. So you maybe did 4 and negative 5. All right. So there's a lot of different options. It's about all about what you see. The main goal, again, though, is that you need opposite signs but the same coefficient. Okay. It's really like opposite coefficients. I'm just breaking it down. But opposite signs and the same coefficient in order for at least one of those variables. Okay? So I'm going to follow through with my work here um, for eliminating the y's. If you eliminate the x's, totally fine. Go ahead and solve yours and let's see if we get to the same answer. So I'm going to get negative 10x plus a negative 6y equals negative 4. That's the first equation. And the second equation is 12x plus 6y equals 30. Let me go ahead and add those together now. Those guys combine to be 2x. These guys are my opposites and create a zero pair. 30 minus 4 is 26. x equals 13. 13 is my x. And then I'm going to pick an equation. I'm going to do the second one. Um, let's do 4 times 13 plus 2y equals 10. 52 plus 2y equals 10. 2y, subtract that 52. Negative 42. y equals negative 21. Now I did that quickly and in my head, which is sometimes a problem. So I might want to test that out. Let me just see. Does 5 times 13 plus 3 times negative 21, I'm plugging it into this original, the, the first equation, to test it out. So I get 65 plus negative 63 equals 2. 2 equals 2. Yep, it worked out. Yay, I did it right. Gomez Perso. All right, so just to recap, sometimes when you add, they naturally cancel out. Sometimes you need to send in one hired goon to change one of the equations. Sometimes you need two. Okay? But no matter what, the goal is always to have opposite signs and the same coefficient. 
and also take make sure that your all your terms are lined up with one another okay so if they're already lined up that means that elimination method is probably the best one to use alrighty let me know if you have any questions toodles <laughs>